Welcome to this continuation of our 2D Trust tutorial. In this video, I'm going to introduce loading. We're going to cover these topics and I will show you how to find these features in visual analysis and give you some tips on using them. Surface load cases are containers for real loads. They are automatically created with names to represent dead loads, live loads, wind loads, etc according to the categories in ASCE 7. You'll find the load cases also in the load case manager where you can edit them or manually create your own. Self weight is defined automatically for you in the dead load case. And I show you the dialog here so you can see where you can turn it off if you want to or apply custom load factors on it change the direction. It's normally applied in the vertical direction and calculated based on member properties or plate properties. To apply a load, you select a load case, then select the objects you wish to load, and you can find the load commands in the context menu or up in the main toolbar. You need to specify a load direction, and for members this can be a local direction or a global direction and you can enter the load magnitude. Notice here I'm going to change the units from what's displayed in the style to something else just by typing over it. You can also do mathematical expressions in these boxes. On the filter tab we can turn on the display of member local axes or any other things we might want to see in the model view. That can help you when you're applying loads to know what direction is up. I'm going to select a snow load case and apply a different load here so that we can get a couple of loads in different load cases. But before I do it, I'm actually going to change the unit style to make it a little bit easier to enter the load in the magnitude I want, which is pounds per foot instead of kips per foot. And finally, I'm going to just apply a nodal load to represent some equipment hanging from this truss. And here, notice that, oops, I got it in the wrong direction, but you can select loads and they show up in the Modify tab. You can change their directions. You can change the magnitude. And something I haven't noted before, but the sign on the magnitude is a way of flipping the load direction 180 degrees. Let's take a look at load combinations. Load combinations are typically required by uh, building codes. And here I'm just going to set one up with dead, live, and snow with load factors of 1.0. Note also that this is where you would specify how this load combination should be checked by design software if you are using that in visual analysis. And now we can view the results and notice that the service case results and the load combinations are available in the result view. So those load combinations were calculated before analysis. Finally, automatic building code combinations are available in some editions of visual analysis. These will automatically generate according to a building code based on the loads you specify. And if you add loads or delete loads, those load combinations are automatically updated. They are also impacted um, in some cases by some project settings, especially for seismic load combinations. That covers loading. Next up, we'll take a look at results and reporting those results.